Hello everyone, Jonathan Casey here with Mercury's Messenger Astrology. Um, here to uh, come talk to you guys about what I perceive uh, are surrounding <clears throat> the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. So uh, I did a video um, about a week ago on this, pointing a couple things out. And, you know, I've just kind of been thinking uh what my narrative um is because uh one thing that is for certain okay everyone's in a state of fear and panic about this virus i'm not in a state of fear uh or panic about the virus but uh we do have that in common i am in fear about us handing over our rights about um you know i kind of i want the markets to crash but i i always hoped that it would be um a decision that we would make uh to um return to a healthier state of mind healthier life um and a healthier planet and environment um, however uh, I do kind of feel like um, there is an aspect of you know uh, an economy collapse but controlled by um, a handful uh, bringing us into a, a totalitarian styled government um, you know, it's no secret that uh, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers have been um, transferring our wealth to China. And China owns a lot of the land now. So, um, you know, I don't want to scare anyone with this statement, but in a way, China kind of uh, can very well all of a sudden just take everything right now and uh you know there's praise on there's actually uh a meme that i made that i forgot to bring up here maybe i could find it really quick it should be oh right there so um you know china's being praised on how they dealt with uh the corona virus outbreak but from this picture it's kind of uh, sarcasm what i typed i wrote china is being praised for their response to the concern over the health of their citizens you know china doesn't really have much concern uh over their citizens okay um so i'll bring up a lot of the signs and symbols right confucius this is how i kind of look at things is uh signs and symbols rule the world not words nor laws a quote from the uh, philosopher confucius um so i've noticed that uh there's been multiple references on uh simpsons um one, um, I, I know that this has been photoshopped where they wrote Corona on the box. Um, but nonetheless, uh, someone coughed on, uh, in a box in China, taped it up, sent it to, um, to, um, Springfield. I keep wanting to say South Park, uh, completely different show Springfield. And then, um, you know, they catch the virus and whatnot. Um, there's also an episode where a bunch of, um, media representatives are sitting around, uh, a, a round table in a secret location and they're talking about, uh, what to do next. And, um, they talk about releasing, um, a virus. So that's another kind of um cue uh 
uh, about The Simpsons. And the last one uh, I, I've made a meme about it here was Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks in an episode where um, Springfield gets quarantined. Uh, Tom Hanks uh, was really did a cameo in the show and this was his lines the US government has lost its credibility so it's borrowing some of mine um, and you know uh, that's really after Tom Hanks made uh, his his statement that him and his wife caught corona uh, virus COVID-19 that uh, people really took it seriously so um, it was his credibility uh, in, in a time where the world governments are all uh, losing their credibility and um, and this virus has regained uh, some of the government's credibility um, people uh, quickly switch over now uh, I was mentioning in my last video about uh, 19 and the Sun card and um, in tarot being 19 and 19 written in Roman numerals is X line X and uh, Jesus was the one the one crucified in the middle um, basically making that coded number 19 but if you even want to look at it slash one at nine so slash is like line line nine or nine line line making 911 the the code is right there so there's a lot of uh, signs uh, out there that um, to me what is the narrative okay now Shet Hanks Tom Hanks's son made a statement um, they're not that worried about it uh, he was quoting his parents Tom Hanks and and uh, his mother and then he says and I I made a, a screw up here I wrote to me uh, twice but anyhow I don't think it's anything to be too worried about okay that's what he says and if you look the symbols are there okay why did he do this uh, with no shirt on um, to display the symbols you got Jesus over here uh, you got the Sun and the infinity sign I wish I could see what this is written I don't think it's in English um, but nonetheless to me the code uh, that's being put out is that this isn't something to be worried about it's not something to be concerned about now um, now when I look at that you know there's the whole conspiracy and demonizing um, the Illuminati uh, kind of deal and you know I don't want to say that this is uh, for sure how I think or that I'm on the Illuminati's side or anything I had a pretty fucked up 2019 I really feel like I had uh, beings from a different dimension uh, guiding me however when Saturn went retrograde Saturn being structure the limits okay the physical reality when he went retrograde I felt like a veil was lifted and I was exposed to I felt like I saw the alien reptilian uh, activity and they worked with uh, CSIS which is the Canadian version of the CIA um, it uh, where do I want to go with
with that. Um, it really put me in a place of, of fear, okay? So I had a lot of hope and uh, a lot of... Um, just I was so fueled with such good energy. And uh, when Saturn went retrograde, it, it all changed. And uh, I've been confused and depressed and um in states of terror like night there in two incidences um around when saturn just before saturn went direct again um and when he went uh retrograde i had a few nights where in a row i shook all night terror terrorized in my uh, bed with what I felt I had witnessed um, and I've been struggling with that for a while I even had felt like I had been um, somehow touched or affected by um, I thought maybe I had one living in my chest <laughs> as crazy as that sounds and whatnot um, but I feel like fear, uh, you know, fear is, uh, can knock you dead in your tracks. Um, but to continue on is uh, bravery. And we wouldn't have bravery without fear. Um, and I've really been trying to figure out what 2019 was all trying to teach me. Um, the astrology really was showing that I was supposed to uh, rise up and um, and I really just felt like hiding underneath my blankets. Now. I've been doing um, videos. I, I stopped for a little while here because, um, to be honest, my heart hasn't been behind them. I was doing them as uh, trying to stay disciplined, doing Saturn kind of work. However, my heart just uh, wasn't there, and I kind of stopped as uh, I took a job um, and... Uh, you know the job has been um, I've been tired after you know and and so I stopped doing the videos um, and I don't know what I'm doing in regards to uh, that right now but I felt like uh, explaining to my my uh, subscribers my audience um, where my head is at uh, how I feel about this um, this virus and you know how I feel about this is I'm gonna recommend a movie um, I think it's called this is the end I'm pretty sure it's called this is the end and it's a movie about uh, a bunch of college friends who uh, Two of them, a couple, uh, live off-grid somewhere in California. And uh, one of the other friends um, released uh, a computer virus that um, basically uh, knocked out the electrical system. And, and the friends all gathered at this off-grid um, location and the movie uh, if you really are paying attention um, it's saying how uh, you will get what you give okay um, they didn't want to share their medicines for example uh, uh, the movie I watched so long ago um, it just really reflects that because there was a neighboring community that was helping and they weren't looking to 
profit or they just out of their goodness of their heart uh, w were willing to help when uh, these guys um, wanted to withhold their medicine in the end their medicine got taken and everyone got served their karma what they put out came back okay and we're moving into the age of Aquarius I feel like this is a really big tipping point this year uh, 2020 and the the symbol of Aquarius is two wavy lines okay one on top of the other the wave the frequency in which you uh, omit will be matched okay that's what it is two wavy lines so you're one and what you uh, attract is the other okay so um, you know I don't want to talk about 9-11 uh, for example and what happened there um, e even though I'm kind of using uh, I feel like I'm not really demonizing uh, the Illuminati symbols uh, with the COVID-19 um, I really haven't put a ton of thought into you know I kind of feel like how I was saying er earlier like I thought maybe I had an alien living in my chest and that I was uh, touched um, I really feel like like that movie where Roddy Roddy Piper puts on the glasses and then sees everything as obey and whatnot I feel like um, I've been touched with uh, by um, a, a doorway was open for me and I'm still trying to because I feel like if I don't do anything that I am just as guilty as um, as the reptilians or whatever you want to say because uh, you know I've had dreams recently of turning into a lizard and then if you look the it means basically a, a ascending um, and so I really feel like there's a good and a bad like the demon and the alien uh, and the angel um, I feel like they're both here's a song from uh, uh, an artist that I really like he says in the song that um, you it, it's almost like a nursery rhyme a story uh, this album and he's talking about how he found this like doorway in the woods or whatever and it brought him to the land of lizards the land of the big baboon and he says that he was once a lizard too but all the lizards are dead um, but nonetheless the lizards and the big baboon the big baboon meaning like God or whatever so I feel like the lizards and God uh, are from the same uh, the same dimension and um, And it really puts that layer of morality uh, into focus. Um, hope or fear. I've always said 9-11 was hope versus fear. And that you have to find the 10, uh, the center. Um, you have to come to the middle ground. Uh, find your center. I, I'm uh, ruled by the planet Mercury which is number five so it's really like calming the mind um, letting go of everything that you've thought and believed um, 
to try and and not put labels on things uh, like what's evil and what's good um, that's really hard not to do um, but I feel like like fear um, makes us want to demonize things and you know like I'm forever going to demonize things like pedophilia um, um, hmm. I just kind of feel like you know I do have a lot of concern a lot of worry for where humanity is going uh, post this virus um, which you know I'm not even sure uh, sure about its uh, its credibility to be honest um, but nonetheless there the virus of fear is uh, spreading at the moment and uh, that is legitimate um, and so I just feel like we have to forget everything we know come to the middle um, to try and not let your mind run wild because um, that's feeding the fear it's letting go of the mind and coming back to the heart um, to be there to help your neighbors in whatever way is possible uh, I really feel like um, I really feel like you know they may come for the money um, money uh, it might all be credit they might be trying to this might be a step towards uh, being chipped okay now now I don't agree with being chipped um, something in a video I was watching yesterday K. Pacha Tom Lesher a uh, famous astrologer he was talking about the age of uh, uh, Aquarius and how Aquarius is an air sign but it's a fixed air sign and he sees fixed air sign as cold okay cold uh, technologies like AI and robotics um, So, um, it's also about community, right? And, and so, uh, with this air, this cold air, um, it really, it's, it's, it's extremely challenging to, uh, be in a place of heart. Uh, it's more and more challenging the most challenging it's probably ever been to be um, in a heart space towards your neighbor and towards others in uh, a time in a crisis uh, mentality uh, time like we presently are so I feel like you know we just got to kind of put what's going on out there, the media frenzy, okay, to distance yourself from it as much as possible. Get away from that. That's what I think we should be distancing ourselves from. Um, and cleaning our hands of... In, in the symbolic way of cleaning up our karma and uh, coming back into a place 
uh, heart first um, and being of service uh, helping um, kind of deal okay so that's what I feel I have to say um, so thanks for watching um, you know who knows maybe I'll maybe my heart will find its way back to astrology I've just after last year um, I really had to distance myself from it because my history with it is I keep seeing astrology keeps affirming uh, what I see in front of me the what's available for me yet I seem to never actually manifest it and when the astrology is affirming what you see is right in front of you yet you never actually manage to get your hands on it to uh, embody it to manifest it it becomes more and more and more draining and um, doubt and all kinds of stuff you know like ideas of not being good enough not being worth uh, it you know uh, of continuously falling short there's just this heartbreaking um, the word I'm looking for um, disappointment you know disappointments hard to swallow and I honestly feel like that's what astrology has been for me has just been me witnessing disappointment and how can I how can I feel good about myself when I keep feeling like I keep falling short of uh, my blessings um, I keep falling short of uh, what's being offered to me and it's it's heartbreaking honestly and uh, I've just kind of like had to uh, I just my heart hasn't been in it I've been trying to do it just to stay disciplined to do the work to try and um, stick to something however just my heart isn't isn't there right now and um, that's really why I was just doing daily uh, vids too I wasn't r looking ahead um, I was just kind of uh, yeah trying to not look ahead of things trying to not get hopes up on stuff because uh, I'm tired of disappointment so anyhow thanks again for watching um, have no fear you know just uh, believe I guess that um, what you give you will get and and that's what advice I have for you I guess you know that's the message I want to put out that's the 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 narrative okay I don't want to uh, contribute to the fear I feel like at the beginning I was seeing these signs and I was posting the signs but to those who don't understand the signs um, and even myself you know uh, I, I was at first putting out uh, fear because I was afraid of uh, a global totalitarian uh, government coming in and all of a sudden there's no more festivals um, there's no more public uh, events or if they are that um, you need a not a ticket but a pass you need to be totally tracked um, 
anyhow, let's stop it here. And um, I'll hopefully talk to you guys again real soon. Okay? Bye for now. Cheers.